uh, an individual that we just met actually today, uh, Chris Narkiza, your father, Mark Narkiza, you laid him to rest yesterday, and you were telling me that just a week ago you were coming into town from California when you got the word that your father passed away from COVID. What do you want folks to know about your father? And importantly, right behind us here, Governor Ducey is going to be holding a press conference at the end of this hour. What would be your message to the state government right now? My dad was an amazing person who was a huge patriot that did not deserve to die alone with only a nurse holding his hand. And the reason his death is so infuriating to me is because it's a failure of leadership and terrible policy. And so what I would like Governor Ducey to know is that he's been downplaying this virus for the last month, telling people to go out shopping and to bars and restaurants. What measures is he taking to stop the spread? And additionally, black and brown communities here in Arizona, as well as indigenous communities, are seeing the biggest impacts of COVID-19. What is he prepared to do to support those communities? Is he prepared to cancel rent? Is he prepared to stand up and make sure that those folks receive unemployment benefits so that whenever they choose not to work, to be able to protect themselves, they can be supported? What would be your question to him today? My question to Governor DC would say, when are you going to take the coronavirus seriously, shut down the state, and require people to wear masks? Kristen, I appreciate it, and I know all of our hearts are with you here. Again, Mark Urquiz, a 65-year-old native of Tolleson, Arizona, here in the West Valley. Again, I'll say the number. Just this week alone, Chuck, more than 400 Arizonans have passed away. A lot of questions ahead of this press conference later this hour with Governor Ducey.